If you're over 60, you've heard all the advice, you've seen all the tips. Most channels tell you what you need to do. Get stronger, improve your mobility, work on your balance. But they never show you how to do it safely. They don't show you how to start if you're already in pain or if you're terrified of falling. In fact, most seniors I talk to are trapped in a vicious boom-bust cycle. It sounds like this. You get motivated, you try a new exercise, you accidentally overdo it, maybe you feel a twinge in your knee or your back, and just like that, you're forced to stop, rest for a week, and you lose all the progress you made. You're back at square one, feeling even more frustrated. This fear of getting hurt is the wall that stops us from getting better. But we know the stakes are high. The real difference between living with confidence and independence and the fear of needing aged care is not luck. It is not genetics. It is a structured plan. So today, we are done with random tips. Today, we are building the entire house from the ground up. I am not giving you a tip. I am giving you the three pillars of fallproof stability. This is the framework that the most stable, confident seniors use. Here's the secret. Most people fail because they only work on one pillar. They'll work on leg strength, but they forget about pillar two and pillar three. And when one pillar has a crack, the entire system collapses and you fall. In this video, I am going to guide you step by step through all three pillars and to guarantee, absolutely guarantee, that you break that boom bust cycle I will give you two options for every single exercise. Option A is our safety version. You can do it seated or with heavy support. Option B is our challenge version. You are in complete control. You choose the option that serves your body today. So you build strength without the fear of getting hurt. It's time to build your foundation. Let's begin with pillar one. This first pillar is the foundation, and it all starts right here with your feet. Most people think balance is all in your legs or your inner ear, but they forget this. Your feet are the sensors. They are the first thing that talks to your brain. If your feet are weak, numb, or slow to send a signal, your brain is flying blind. And the single most overlooked part of this sensor system is a muscle on the front of your shin called the tibialis anterior. This muscle is responsible for lifting your toes up. When this muscle is weak, you don't lift your foot properly. You catch your toe on the carpet, you stumble on a rug, you trip on the sidewalk. So, our first exercise is designed to wake up this tripwire muscle and recalibrate the sensors in your feet. And right away, we keep our promise. We break the boom-bust cycle. You have two choices. You are in control. Option A, our safety foundation. You will stand facing a wall or a heavy kitchen counter with your hands on it for support. This is where I want most of you to start. This is the 100% safe version. Option B, the challenge. You will stand next to the counter, but only use one finger for balance. Please, do not try this with no hands today. We are building the foundation, not testing the roof. Are you at your counter or your wall? Good. Stand tall, feet about hip width apart. Let's begin with option A, place, both hands on the counter. Now, keeping your legs straight and your heels on the floor, I want you to pull your toes and the balls of your feet up toward the ceiling. Hold it for one second, and then control the movement as you lower them back down. Let's do this five times, slowly. Pull your toes up. You should feel that muscle on your shin get tight. That's it. And lower them down. Again. Pull up. And lower. This is the toe raise with support. It is simple. It is safe. And it is powerful. What you are doing is sending a clear signal from your brain, down your leg, to that specific muscle. You are reopening a pathway that gets quiet from sitting too much or from wearing heavy shoes. This single move trains your brain to lift your foot higher when you walk, making you dramatically less likely to trip. This is the foundation of fall-proof stability. Okay, and relax. You've just repaired the first crack. You have woken up pillar one. But this pillar is only part of the system. Your feet can be wide awake. But what happens when you turn your head quickly and the entire room starts to spin? That's a different problem, and it requires us to fix pillar two, your internal GPS. Let's move on. Fantastic. You have just repaired the foundation. Your brain is now getting a clearer signal from your feet. But what happens next? You're standing, your feet feel solid but you turn your head to look over your shoulder 
and the whole room suddenly tilts. Or you feel that dizzy, swimming sensation. This is a critical failure and it has nothing to do with your feet. This is a failure of Pillar 2, your internal GPS. Deep inside your inner ear, you have a complex system of crystals and sensors. This is your body's GPS. It tells your brain exactly where your head is in space, which way is up, and how fast you are moving. But as we age, or if we stop moving our heads as much, because we fear that dizzy feeling, this signal goes quiet. The GPS gets full of static. That lurch, that tilt, that's your brain momentarily losing the GPS signal. We must fix this. We must recalibrate the signal. And for this pillar, our acolhimento da dor, welcoming the pain, is mandatory. This exercise must be done seated. This is our option A. And for today, it is our only option. Because this movement is designed to find that dizziness, we must do it in a 100% safe position. So please, find a comfortable, sturdy chair. No swivel chairs. Are you seated? Good. Sit up tall but relaxed. Now hold one thumb straight out in front of you. If your shoulder gets tired, you can just focus on a small spot on the wall. Pick your target. Here is the instruction. Lock your eyes onto that target. They must not move. Keeping your eyes glued to your thumb, slowly turn your head from side to side, like you are gently shaking your head. No. It's a small, controlled movement. Your eyes are fixed on the target, but your head is moving left and right. Let's do this for 20 seconds. If you are feeling a slight woozy or unsteady sensation, that is normal. In fact, that is a good sign. That is the feeling of the static. It's your brain and your inner ear trying to get back on the same page. Do not push into sharp dizziness. Just go to the very edge of it. If you need to stop, you stop. You are in control. What you are doing is called gaze stabilization. You are forcing your brain to stop ignoring the signal from your inner ear. You are teaching your brain to trust its own GPS again. This is how you regain the confidence to turn your head, to look around, to scan a room without the world spinning. Okay, and relax. Take a deep breath. You have now repaired Pillar 1, the foundation, and Pillar 2, the GPS. This is a massive victory, but there is one final piece of the puzzle. Your feet are now clear, your GPS is calibrated, but what happens when you actually stumble? What happens when you hit an uneven piece of pavement? Do you have the ability to save yourself? That requires Pillar 3, Rapid Reaction. Let's move to our final, most important pillar. You have done the work. Pillar 1, your foundation, is awake. Pillar 2, your GPS, is calibrated. But this is the final, most crucial test. You are walking. You hit an uneven piece of pavement. You stumble. What happens in the next half second? This is Pillar 3, Rapid Reaction. This is not about how strong you are. It is about how fast you are. When you stumble, you don't have time to think. You have a split second to react and get a foot out to catch yourself. This is what saves you from the fall. And just like a muscle, this reaction must be trained. And we will train it safely, breaking that boom-bust cycle for good. Please stand near a sturdy kitchen counter or the back of a heavy sofa. Everyone must use support for this. Safety is the priority. Option A, our safety version. We will do a quick tap. You will hold the counter with both hands and just practice tapping your foot forward quickly and bringing it back. This trains the speed of the signal. Option B, the challenge. You will hold the counter and you will take a quick step forward, a longer step, bending your knee slightly when you land. Just like the video, let's begin. Hold your support. Let's try option A first. Stand tall, take your right foot, tap it forward fast, bring it back, tap it forward, bring it back. It's not a big movement. It's a fast movement. Feel the signal from your brain to your foot. Now, if you feel stable, let's try option B. Take a slightly longer, quicker step forward. Land on that foot, feeling the support from the counter, and push back to the start. Let's try the other leg. Quick step forward and back. This is it. This is the fall-proofing exercise. You are training your brain to react to a stumble by automatically sending a signal to your leg to step into the fall and save you. You have now built the entire house. Pillar 1, the foundation to sense the ground. Pillar 2, the GPS, to keep you level. Pillar 3, the reaction, to save you from the stumble.
This is the complete structured plan for fall-proof stability. You did it. You just built the entire structure. You repaired the cracks in all three pillars of fall-proof stability. You didn't just learn what to do. You learned how to do it safely. Now, I want to answer one key question I know you're thinking. I felt great on the first two pillars, but I felt really slow or unstable on pillar three, the quick steps. Does that mean it didn't work? It means it did work. If you felt that instability, you found the exact weakness we needed to fix. That's why we use the counter for support. You are training that save yourself reaction, and it is supposed to feel challenging at first. You are firing a signal that has been asleep. And if you only did option A for everything today, that is a 100% victory. You successfully broke the boom-bust cycle. You proved you can get stronger without the fear of getting hurt. That was the entire point. You won. You are now in control of your own structured plan. And because this is a community, your experience matters. I want you to go to the comment section right now and tell us. Which of the three pillars did you feel needed the most work? Was it pillar one, the foundation feet? Was it pillar two, the GPS inner ear? Or was it pillar three, the quick reaction? Please leave your answer below. Reading your journey gives strength to everyone else. And as a declaration that you are committed to this plan, to staying strong and independent, I also want you to comment, I am independent. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell because in our next video, we are going to show you how to combine these three pillars into a single five-minute daily stability routine. You've done the hard work of building the house. Next, I'll show you how to maintain it in five minutes a day. You do not want to miss it. Stay strong and I will see you in the next video.